Hey everyone, it's Sam, and it's March 23rd here at St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church in Virginia Beach. I wanted to uh, first off thank all of you for your patience while we're trying to figure out how to engage our community uh, with technology in the midst of COVID-19. Um, yesterday we broadcast the liturgy both on Facebook Live and we tried to get it on YouTube. Uh, if you were trying to watch with YouTube, we apologize that it cut out. Um, we're going to try to get that better for Wednesday night for our Paraklesi service and also for this Sunday. Um, not as an excuse, but Orthodox people do have a hard time change sometimes. So uh, there's this joke that I heard one time, and maybe you'll appreciate it. How many Orthodox Christians does it take to change a light bulb? Change? Huh? So we struggle a little bit with that, don't we? We struggle with this uh, how to share the liturgy in a online setting, but um, we promise we're gonna be better this week and uh, moving forward with this learning process. Um, so what I wanna share with you is just a quick reflection on today's readings. To get back to uh, our normal schedule for Lent, we have three different readings from the Old Testament. And for those of you who got to hear Sister Vasa speak when she was here, uh, she mentioned to us that during Lent and our, and our yearning for Pascha, we're brought back to Old Testament readings to kind of instill a desire for Christ who's gonna be coming, um, the, the awaited Messiah and Savior. So we're looking at Genesis, Isaiah, and Proverbs every day and we basically just continue in the story. So wherever we were on Friday, it's the continuation of those readings today on Monday. I don't want to get into all of the details of them, but I do want to show you some maybe best hits of those readings. And that's what we're going to be doing for these reflections for the most part uh, through these different videos. On the reading from Isaiah, it's Isaiah 14, 24 to 32. And the last part, I just want us to focus on a little bit. It says, The Lord has founded Zion, and in her the afflicted of his people find refuge. That's what we want our church to be for everyone, is a refuge um, and a place where we can come to find support when we feel afflicted. So that's, that's what we're about as a community, as a church. And um, we hope that these reflections are helping that refuge as well. The reading from Genesis is Genesis 8, 21 through 9, 7. And this is the reading right after the story of Noah in the ark. So at the end of Genesis 8, we read that uh, the, the flood waters had receded and Noah and his family had gotten out. All of the animals were released back and right before this reading, which we don't see, but right before it, it says, Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and took some of every clean animal and some of every clean bird and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And then we get to today's reading. And when the Lord smelled the pleasing aroma, the Lord said in his heart, I will never again curse the ground because of man. Um, so we have a, our reading today begins with a promise. We have a promise that God um, hears our prayers and that God is present with us and that God creates these, this relationship with us that we have with him. So it's, it's a helpful reminder uh, for us as Orthodox Christians that we're part of this relationship with the Lord. It's not just a, a one-sided thing. And then we also have these uh, readings from Proverbs. And if you're unfamiliar with Proverbs, it's generally set of kind of unrelated statements, but it's a positive and a negative. So for example, it says, he who is steadfast in righteousness will live, but he who pursues evil will die. Men of perverse mind are an ab ab abomination to the Lord, but those who blameless ways are his delight. So you see there's this positive and a negative that are contrasted. So that's where you're going to see mostly as you're doing these daily readings with Proverbs um, is this 
positive and a negative that are being contrasted. So um, as well, if you're looking at our uh, chapel on goarch.org slash chapel uh, to look at the daily readings for the day, you'll also see that there's different saints that are commemorated each day. And today we're celebrating uh, Saint Nikon, uh, Anatolios, and Protoleon, and Luke the New Martyr of Mytilini. So through their prayers, I wish you all a wonderful rest of your Monday, and I hope to see you again soon, um, whether in person, uh, somewhere, or at least through our next video on Wednesday and Saturday, on Sunday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.